So good afternoon, everyone. I'm State Superintendent of Public Instruction, Joan Ebert. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to this virtual Read Nevada event. Thank you all to our supporters, our partners, um, elected officials who are here to help us celebrate this afternoon. Today, we're going to provide some exciting updates about Read Nevada, as well as hear from special guests, which include our governor, Steve Sisolak, and First Lady, Kathy Sisolak, Dr. Katie Dockweiler and her family, Horace Lewis, who is the president of the Nevada Library Association, Dr. Darrell Kernan, who is my colleague here at the Department of Education, and Todd Breckis, Chief Product Officer of Renaissance and creator, we have a creator here of my own. The importance of reading can never be overstated. Every time a student opens a book, they have the opportunity to learn, explore, and grow. When our school buildings closed last spring due to COVID-19, the Nevada Department of Education immediately got to work. And we worked with our schools, our community partners to think of ways to continue and support the learning of all students. We are so proud of the perseverance that our students have shown. Our families, school staff, everyone has demonstrated um, how they can be resilient during this challenging time. And we're grateful for all of the public private partnerships that have transpired to make sure that we're making a difference for all Nevadans, especially during this time in need. In May, we announced a partnership with the state library. We're excited and Renaissance to provide students with access to Mayan. And Mayan includes a digital library offering of thousands of digital books at age appropriate levels with news articles for students from pre-k through 12th grade. The platform has been very popular for the students and you're going to hear from uh, a few in a, just a short moment. Our Nevada students have read 1.9 million digital books and have logged over 15.6 million minutes. And of course, many families and students have continued to participate in programs and opportunities that have been made available through our Nevada Public Libraries. Today, we're celebrating the success of Read Nevada and the independent motivation of many of our children and their motivation to read. We will also get insight on how COVID-19 has impacted reading patterns at local libraries and in homes, including turning reading into a family affair. Before I invite our partners to tell us more about Read Nevada, we want to have and hear from our governor and first lady. They are tremendous supporters of education and family reading and sent a very special video message for us today. Thank you, Superintendent Ebert. Good morning, I'm Steve Sislak. And I'm here with First Lady Kathy Sisolak. We are so glad to be a part of this morning's event. Despite these challenging times, it warms our hearts to see how families have come together to share their love of reading. We know reading is a basic skill, necessary for success in school, in work, and throughout life. We also know families play a big role in promoting a lifelong love of reading and learning. COVID-19 has led to a lot of changes in our daily lives, including how we live and learn together. One bright spot is that the data shows that reading patterns have changed. Instead of our students curling up alone to dive into a great book, reading has become a family affair. We want to encourage children and families to keep it up. If you know that your child, grandchild, neighbor, or friend has a passion, find a way to bring it to life through a book, a magazine, comics, an essay, a speech, or maybe even a recipe. There are options for every age and interest. From cooking, crafts, or even building model rockets, you will find reading materials that support you in exploring what you love and encourage togetherness. For more tips and ideas on turning reading time into family time, visit the Read Nevada Partnership page on the Nevada Department of Education website at doe 
www.nv.gov or visit your local public library's web page. For a complete listing of all Nevada's public library websites, visit the Nevada State Library website at nsla.nv.gov. Our family has always enjoyed reading and spending time together. We know your family will enjoy this time together too. Keep it up. Keep reading, Nevada. Back to you, Superintendent Ebert. With all of that energy, with all of that energy, I'm just excited that the governor and first lady has given us all encouragement to continue to read. And to add that to that encouragement, we have the Dockweiler family here with us this morning. Dr. D Katie Dockweiler and her children are with us this afternoon to share some of their experiences with reading with Mayan over the past few months. Good afternoon, Dockweiler family. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Love the energy. Um, so Katie, I've had the opportunity um, to hear you speak passionately about what the access to Mayan has meant to you and your family. Can you please share with everyone here what you most appreciate about Mayan? Absolutely. We are a huge fan of Mayan. I remember when the shutdown uh, first closed our schools and we were at a loss of where to get materials for our kids. Uh, Mayan just provided such a huge opportunity for different levels, different topics, different interests. And when you have children who have very short attention spans, um, finding their interest quickly can be a challenge. So um, I really appreciate that about Mayan. And then as a parent, what I also really like is there's the ability within the platform to click and take the AR quiz directly that so many of our teachers are using to track comprehension for our kids. And so one last thing for me to do to log into a separate website is just, I can't tell you the mental, um, mental appreciation my brain has for not having to do that. <laughs> That's great. Um, Audrey and Bo, I'm so pleased to have you officially on camera. Uh, and first of all, can you share your ages? Um, I'm nine years old, and my favorite book is Harry Potter, and my favorite thing about Harry Potter is that it's magical, and it has tons of invention, adventures. That's great. So would you recommend all the Harry Potter books to your friends? Yeah. That's great. Ready? How old are you? Seven. And what do you think, Bo? What's your favorite book? And what, what, what's your favorite thing about reading with Mayan? I like Epic. Okay. What do you like to read? Scribbles and Ink. Scribbles and Ink. Okay. And what do you like about Scribbles and Ink? It gets you a lot of points. <laughs> Great. How many points do you have? Do you know that? Twenty-four. So he said, I "I'm level twenty-four. Okay. Wow. Oh my goodness, you're doing amazing work. That is so awesome. Well, Audrey and Bo, is there anything else that we should know from from uh, what you've learned and experienced with Mayan that you would share with other parents or or friends? Um. <laughs> That's okay, sweetie. No. no, I'm kind of spacing out for a sec, <laughs> and I don't have anything, and I run in. Okay, yeah, so what can I do? You can go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. I mean, Katie, thank you for, for having um, your beautiful children, Audrey and Bo, with us this afternoon. And like I said, I know, I'm sure they've had a lot of screen time already and, and are ready to be done with that. So for, for you, any advice that you would give? You know, we have a lot of families that are engaged um, in reading, but anything that you have found over time and any last minute advice um, you would have for them? Sure, I've actually had a good time sitting down with the kids and searching and exploring with them. Um, there's things on there that I would never have normally suggested that they lean into. For example, we were searching I can't remember. We ended up on boats and sailing, which was really cool because in the desert, that's not something we would naturally gravitate to. 
So that really exposed the children to something that they may not have otherwise um, been exposed to. So I would definitely recommend as parents sitting down and exploring with your children and see what topics you can find together. Yep. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate you so much and um, you know, sharing the learning experiences that you have. So I'm gonna take the, thank you. I'm gonna take the opportunity now to introduce our partner, Forrest Lewis, who is the president of the Nevada Library Association. Due to the pandemic, um, going to the library was off limits uh, since last March and until early summer. And despite that challenge, our libraries didn't stop serving our communities. So Forrest, you're here to tell us more about what happened and how you have and your team, amazing team, have been serving and supporting families and students. Excellent. Thank you, Superintendent Ebert. It's my distinct pleasure to be here to represent Nevada libraries. And you're absolutely correct with the uh, COVID-19 hit. Um, you take the public out of public libraries and um, puts us in, in quite a spot. So we had to really kind of learn on our feet uh, very quickly. Luckily, over the years, we had put um, places, things in place like uh, our digital book collections and, and other resources that we were able to kind of shift very quickly, but we still had a lot um, of learning to do. Some of the things we did, um, a lot of libraries really quickly created what we call the e-cards so that we could, our students could access the online databases without going through the traditional library process. That gave them access to all of our books. Uh, my on, the addition of that was was amazing help for us um, to add add to our collections. We um, a lot of libraries extended like the Wi-Fi into the parking lot areas. We um, were able to do curbside pickup, grab and go, to allow people to have access to books and materials, and um, you know, even though they're not able to physically come into the branches. And one of the things that we did, um, we were able to do a lot of libraries when we ran our traditional summer reading program, we were able to do that entirely online with the resources that we had. So obviously the numbers um, went down from previous years. You know, a lot of our uh, readings, people coming into the library, but it was still pretty impressive to see the numbers that we did get. Um, and a big thing that was very scary, I think for a lot of librarians, but that it was embraced and, and turned out really good is we started doing digital programming. So we would do that through Facebook, we do that through YouTube, and we do story time, special programs through the reading, um, our summer reading program. And it, it gave our students, it was really amazing how these programs were embraced. I mean, some of these story times would get like thousands of views online. So it really gave the, the public uh, access to the library. It gave them access to their favorite, um, you know, children's story time um, person, and, and it really gave the librarians uh, an ability to reach out to the public. So just um, real quickly, just wanted to kind of give some information on our summer reading program that we had. And we did have close to 59,000 uh, books that were read over the summer that were logged into for our summer reading program. We had close to 6 million minutes that were um, logged that we had. We had about 11,700 uh, students that signed up for the reading program, even with doing it entirely digitally. And what's really great and kind of shows how all the, the libraries came together is we had actually 16 out of our 21 library districts throughout the state um, embraced and put forward digital programming. We were able to do uh, 520 digital programs throughout uh, the, just the summer reading program alone. So um, in closing, I just want to let people know if, if you want to, libraries are still doing this. Um, some libraries have, have open services. There's other libraries that are just doing curbside or grab and go still. And if you want to have access to these wonderful programs uh, that the librarians are putting out there, you can, the best way is to go to your local library's website. Um, if you don't have access to that specific website information, you can go to the Nevada State Library's website nsla.nv.gov and you'll have access to those wonderful programs. So again, thank you very much for having us here today. Um, and thank you to all the public libraries throughout the state of Nevada who've really stepped up and um, we've learned a lot and we're continuing to serve our public and, and we just want everybody to have access to the, the literacy and, and moving forward with the education. So thank you very much.
Thank you, Forrest. Uh, congratulations for everything that you, the librarians, the media specialists um, in the library, public libraries, and, you know, in our schools, I know they've been pushing things out as well. Um, so I loved hearing about the innovative ways that you've kept students engaged during this time. Thank and you very much. I, I am, you know, pleased now to introduce Darl um, Kiernan, who is with the Department of Education. We needed someone that was passionate that could lead this work from our um, department and help communicate with school districts across uh, the entire state, including the Charter School Authority. And Darl um, uh, raised her hand and just said, I'm in. I want to do this. Uh, let me know. And she has been amazing project manager. Now she can add to her uh, list of skills. So Darrell, um, we'd love to hear from you right now. Well, thank you, Superintendent. I'm so honored to be here today celebrating the reading of Nevada students. As you stated earlier, the collective efforts of families and educators across Nevada have resulted in nearly 16 million minutes of reading on the Mayan platform since May. And that number continues to grow weekly. And so these results just confirm the research that tells us that students are more motivated to read when they can self-select books and make choices about their reading. And Mayan lets them do that. The platform recommends age-appropriate books based on students' interests and reading levels. And what that does is it creates a personalized reading experience for students. And so we're seeing so much reading because of that personalized reading experience where students can select from a large variety of titles that engage them. Um, so with that said, I am excited to introduce Todd Breckis, uh, Chief Product Officer of Renaissance and creator of Myon. So for a few minutes, I'd like to turn it over to you, Todd. Thank you. Uh, thank you both, Superintendent Ebert, Dr. Kiernan, thank you so much for your uh, interest in this program. I just want to say congratulations, State of Nevada. Way to go. This is amazing what you guys have pulled off. I mean, it's not easy to get this many kids and this many, your rural communities, your suburban and urban communities, I'm just so impressed and um, congrats to the team uh, and the public library connection. It's so important to make that, that public uh, connection and all of the other partners that, that you roll this out to and the, the media and the press that I'm sure we're thanking for getting the word out. I'm just uh, here saying, I never kind of envisioned Mayan being used quite in this way and it's amazing during a time like COVID and this, this shutdown that we've had and the tra craziness of getting back to school we didn't stop kids from reading, we actually encouraged it. And I think as a team, uh, the state of Nevada, Mayan, my colleagues at Renaissance, our mission is to accelerate learning and I believe we've done that as a team. And so what we're seeing in this partnership in Nevada and how effectively you all have worked together is just amazing. So congratulations. I believe this is gonna lead to a stronger community, a stronger approach to literacy and we're just proud to, to stand by your side and help and, uh, and, and cheer you on. So. Congratulations and thanks a lot for uh, being excited about Mayan too. Thank you, Todd. Go ahead, Darrell. Oh, I just was gonna say thank you, Todd, for your support and partnership. And I just echo everything you said. Uh, thank you to all of our regional partners. I see all of you there as well, who played a large role in helping uh, to share out Mayan across the state and our charter representatives. Um, I just want to share and reiterate that this can continue to be a family time. Uh, Dr. Doc Weiler spoke to that just a little bit. We know that research tells us that students of all ages benefit from reading with family members. And so we just want to encourage families to continue talking about reading with students because we know that just having someone to talk to about a book and about your reading improves comprehension. That discussion helps push readers forward and reflect more deeply on their reading and notice more in the text. So uh, thank you to families and we just encourage you to keep up the good work. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Superintendent Ebert uh, to close us out. Thank you, Darrell. And Todd, thank you um, for those words. I, I you know, since returning to Nevada, I cannot say enough and it's a big reason why I did is innovation 
Um, our communities have always had the spirit um, of the West and continue and, and we won't stop, um, you know, battle born, globally prepared as we move forward. And, and Darl, you know, thank you for recognizing too. I just want to, uh, we have many partners here with us today. Each and every one of you has played a vital role in, um, in making sure that our children have access uh, to you know, either hard copy books, you know, the checkout that has gone on with the public libraries, um, but then also with Mayon. It's, it's not stopping, making sure that our children have access to these materials. And then it also to the components of, um, with our RPDP colleagues, Regional Professional Development Program colleagues, you helped work with the educators in um, launching these in our virtual classrooms and helping them go through and, and make a determination of those items and of what children want to read, what they're interested in, and it, the excitement. So the love of reading um, is still in their hearts as we move forward. We have our Read Nevada Partnership page um, on the Nevada um, Department of Education website. It's the doenv.gov, excuse me, doe.nv.gov. Um, for reading tips and resources. I think one thing we didn't hit on this afternoon is um, these materials uh, are available in multiple languages as well. Um, and we know that we in our community speak multiple languages and that's important to have resources um, available. So I wanna thank all of you for joining us this afternoon. Stay safe, stay well, uh, continue reading uh, in these programs. And if you're a member of the media this afternoon and want to ask a question, I know that as others uh, that we, again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts, um, the media, you're more than welcome to stay on as others leave the call. Bless you all and have a great afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Terry Hendry, the Public Information Officer for the Nevada Department of Education. And are there members of the news media that are with us that would like to ask a question? If so, um, you know, use your mouse and then there's the raise hand function um, and then you'll have to unmute yourself to ask the question. If not, um, and there are no members of the media that have questions, I know that you're going to use this video because we're going to post it on our YouTube channel and we'll also make it available to you um, upon request. And so you can just edit away and use it at your, um, your leisure but we do appreciate everybody coming. Do we have any questions? Seeing that there are none, um, I'll give you three more seconds here in case you're trying to figure out the function. <laughs> Terry, well, people are, I, I see, um, and I didn't, I, it's so hard scrolling through, not the yeah. three screens, but um, our State Board of Education members as well, thank you. Uh, for joining and I know Alex, our student representative from Elder, El Dorado High School was on. There he is, the next page. <laughs> Member McAdoo and, and um, others, thank you for being here. I appreciate you very much. Well, this is all very exciting, very positive news and keep encouraging students to keep it up, to keep on reading. Thank you for being with us this afternoon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. -bye.